Today I went to a uh, scrapyard and my car a press trail trio and I tried to hook it up to the wall AC but it, it doesn't work so I opened up in five minutes and I found out uh, the farrier could be in this portion uh, in this portion of the circuit and uh, there is now I pick it up and I try to zoom in and you might see the it's, it's burned out the, the area which was burned out pretty good. This was the left, left over that I dig it out from the burning place, burn out place. There seem to be some uh, heater wire. When they overload, they will generate a lot of heat and they will melt the, the plastic around them. So that might be the film mechanism. There is a small circuit in the trigger section and there is a small PCB bowl and this, this portion might be the variable resistor which control this small chip uh, directly pack it up on the PCB bowl. This might be the whole circuit to control how much power you want to input to the motor. And I, I would like to use my, my, my multimeter or my serial scope. I'll try to hook it up and see to in investigate what's going on in there. After I clean out this, this I found there is a spark, a lot of melting, uh, melted solder has been melted away. I have to clean, clean it out, and we we attach a wire here and a wire here. Then I can start to use my. DC power slowly ramp the power up since I don't know what is in here between the inverter controller. Now I have solder to wire. Since I don't know this circuit uh, is this positive or negative connection, so I have to use my wire gas. I connect this to the positive and connect this to the negative, and I use this power supply to start it. So close the finger, hope for the best. Let's start test. Watch out! Watch the more meter here. Oops, I forgot to turn on the, I could have to plug in the power supply. So let's, let's do it again. Now the power supply is on. Let's start it. So we ring up the power supply. Look close to the needle. Stand bolt. It doesn't turn off. Okay, 30 volts, nothing happens. So I have to I have to check other things. Now I reverse the positive and negative connection. That's Start test again. 10 volt, 15 volts, nothing. 
Twenty balls, nothing. Twenty ball, nothing. So this ball might be fried, and I there is a variable potential potential meter here, and let's check. Uh, try to rub it with a short with a short circuit. Uh, wire no no reaction not at all so this boat may be fried beyond repair I might find out another solution for this or maybe this video will end here thank you for watching bye bye